Okay, so this is a five minute video. Uh, who is the best uh, air conditioning um, company to buy for your home? Or brand, I mean, I'm sorry, brand. And, and I'm gonna say this straight up. Train, carrier, ream. That's pretty much it. Everybody else have just gone to, uh, I guess down the hill you could say. Uh, so remember, train's number one, then train is American Standard. It's like uh, Lexus and Toyota. So, you know, trains, Lexus, and then American Standard is Toyota. It's the same company. One's just a little bit more fancier than the other one. But it's the same same thing. If you get it up, it's, it's good quality. Uh, train does make a cheaper brand, which I don't know why they did it, but I think they just wanted to cut the cost and get a certain contract to somebody. I don't know what. And it's called Ameristar. Ameristar is junk, which sad to say, it comes from train. So, I mean, I don't know what they were doing. I don't know who's in their, uh, you know, who's in their conference saying, hey man, we need to do this. Uh, they should have fired that guy. Anyways, so yeah, the same company that makes uh, toilets at Home Depot, American Standard, it's one of the best. Uh, then you got, of course, Carrier. Carrier's real good, it's respectable. Now, if you bought a Carrier from 2012 to 2015, you got a piece of junk. For some reason, they were being assembled outside of the country and they did a terrible job me being in the field for about almost 16 years junk man i had restrictions i had just coils leaking it was just junk it's sad i don't know what's going what happened with them so but now they're better they're, they got they got much better and they're, they're respectable so carrier which is bryant and Payne, same company Payne is r22 they're still making them out you know they just you, if you can find them great uh but now it's all 410 systems, you know, of Freon. Um, uh, and then, uh, and on top of that, uh, if you are an individual that has an R22 unit and your unit outside just conked on you, and now they're telling you, oh, I need a 410 system, tell them if you could change it to a 407C unit, cheap. Uh, and that should cost you about, if you got a, like a two ton, I mean, two ton, well, two ton, three ton, uh, you sh it shouldn't cost you $1,800 to replace it. Like, to, to cut that one out and put it for 407C, and you still have, I think that one has a 10 year warranty on it. And that way, you don't have to touch anything that's in your attic, uh, the air handler unit, and the coal, anything, or unless it's in your closet or whatever, or in your garage, that doesn't even have to be disassembled or, or removed. You just need to re replace the outside unit. So, that's, you know, that's gonna save you at least five grand easily. So if it's just the outside unit con compressor went out or something, and or it's leaking on the condenser coil, just get the 407C if you go R22. If you're trying, if you're on the budget, if you're not, just rip out the whole unit. Then you get the 410 system. But I'm saying right now, train American Standard, great carrier, great. Do not get York. There's a lot of problems with York. York's going into microchannel coils, which are junk. They leak. Uh, there was a lot of recalls on them in 2000, I think 2010, and to this day, there's still problems, I see. So, I mean, just, just stay away from York. And York is um, Guardian and Coleman, junk. They're cheap junk. It's the same thing. It's just, you know, yeah, something happened. When Johnson Control bought York, it was already going down, but it actually just went down it's, it's not respectable at all i have problems with them all the time uh, so uh, they're not reliable especially on their engineering on their copper they always end up rubbing and leaking they don't they, and they figure out later oh let's do this you know we'll put a little rubber on it and then now you got leaks because of corrosion because the water just sits there and it, you know it absorbs it uh the insulation and, it, and just holds all the water because it's not even like i, I don't know it's just this is junk Anyways, get it with The number one junk unit, Goodman. Now, if you're in California, like where I am in San Diego, you can get it with, with the Goodman because you're not going to run it all the time, you know. But if it's coming down to Arizona, Texas, or, the, you know, high heat, yeah, that, that I would not rely on the Goodman. It, it, it's a Ford Pinto. It's just going to blow up on you. It's, it's just junk. Uh, you may get five years out of it, but the, the, the performance, the efficiency on that, it's, it's, it's drops within the first year it's just junk 
You just can't handle it. It's, and a lot of people are going to sell you that because they're so cheap. They're so cheap. When it comes to uh, winter time for all the condenser unit, they drop down to like 600 bucks each. You know, you get a whole system for all, under uh, $1,100. And that's a three ton. You know, so I mean, it's cheap. It's cheap. Just get away with them. And remember, Goodman and Daikin are the same company. So, and Amanda too. Amanda's a little bit better. I seen their air handlers much greater. Their furnace, they're good. Um, even the condensers, uh, but that's that's over with. It's all Goodman Daikin that just took over, and they're just junk. So you know, they're like uh, oh my god. 2000 Hyundai <laughs> it's just not reliable at all just junk okay so uh, stay away from Goodman's I mean if you're in a budget and they're giving you a good deal you know I mean and you're like I'm not gonna live in this house that long maybe go ahead I guess you know but other than that if you want something you're gonna be living at your house longer than five years train carrier even ring rings respectable they're not famous i mean they make uh water heaters at home depot or they, they sell them there but you know uh, they're respectable I, I haven't come across any problem with ring they're they're tough they, they're up there with train but train has more money and, and so they get advertised more you know you can't stop a train you know and I, and i'm not trying to sell it or train to you or anything it's just what i see you know uh out there in the field and, and what's i see it's you know, respectable and reliable uh, out here in California there's a there's a night and day that's, that's another company which is uh, it's a knockoff of train I mean I train I'm um, sorry uh, of York junk it's junk also junk and then uh, how so uh, uh, people are say hey what about Le um, Lennox it, it's I wouldn't get Lennox just it, they're up in the air you don't know what I come across a lot of problems with them and I like to make excuses for them but it's, it's, it got to the point where I can't I used to like Lennox a lot and that was before I say 2010 I used to love Lennox now it's just I don't know I'm sorry there's too many problems too many leak leaks on the on the on the coils and uh, TXVs go out so fast it's just they're not reliable anymore I'm sorry so and then you got um, Tempstar which is trying to look like a train now don't so do not get that okay? it's just junk uh, Tempstar is made by ICP which is International Comfort Products which looks like a carrier it's a knockoff of carrier but they're just junk so stay away from that so and then you got Coleman and, and uh, Guardian, which is York, and this is junk also. So, and they're but they're very very cheap. Remember that it's very very cheap. So, you want something to last? You can stay in the house longer than five years. Get a train, American Standard, Ream. That's pretty much it. That's all I'm gonna say. That's it. Stick with them. Uh, other than that, let's try to stay away from the rest. They also, especially Western Electrical, Maytag. Oh my God, Maytag. Don't even get Maytag. I mean, I thought Goodman was bad enough, but Maytag is just, oh my God, just to get apart from them is just ridiculous. It's just, you can have a unit down for almost two weeks just waiting for that damn part. And it's stupid part too. Like I could convert it out, but then it forfeits or like warranty. It's like, for you. so just get away. It's, it's a headache, a headache. It's like a Maserati. <laughs> Maytag's a Maserati. It's just gonna break down on you. It may look cool, but it's gonna break down and it just keep on costing you. And you'd be waiting for it to be back on the road again. It's always in the shop, pretty much. Anyway, so that's it. That's the end of my video. Good luck on your unit replacement. And um, and remember, if you're gonna get a 410 system, make sure they upgrade your uh, return. It needs more airflow for the 410 system. A lot of people don't do it. They just leave the regular R22 return you know, size for your return thinking that that's gonna be good but no it causes a problem so you know it kills your your compressor life so that's it take care if you have any questions go ahead ask me i'll answer them you know i've been in the field for 16 years and i'll tell you the truth you know so just that's it all right take care bye